you know, that's, uh, that's the challenge, uh, is trying to wrap up and to put this season into words and, and to try to describe this team um, and what they've meant to this program here and now, but also what they've done for the future of this program. You know, they really have created a legacy, and they've accomplished so many things and been recognized with so many different accolades. It's, it really is hard to put into words. And like you said, you know, senior setter Aaron Bradley, you know, what a career. Breaking the all-time career assist record, that's, that's, that's monumental, and, and that's uh, a huge accomplishment for her and a true, true testament to, to her character and, and her ability as a player on and off the court as a leader for us for the past two years. Um, you know, first team all-conference, um, just huge accomplishments for her. Um, also, Taylor Williams. Taylor Williams uh, rebroke her own record of most kills per set average um, for a season you know she broke that record last year and then went out and broke it again this year another huge senior accomplishment Um, she again has just been a workhorse for us we've been able to go to her time after time after time and we know that she's going to get the job done she was also second team all SSAC Uh, and then Natalie Davis you know a transfer Um, only been here two years I just wish we could have had her for longer Um, because there's no telling what she could have done to those record books. But she was recognized as second team all-conference again, Um, and second time that she was our Champion of Character Award winner. You know, for being here only two years, she really, truly made an impact here. And then our final senior, Sam O'Malley. You know, Sam was one of those girls that tends to get overlooked, you know, because um, she doesn't put up, you know, the high outstanding numbers that everybody else does but without Sam O'Malley we would not have accomplished anything that we did you know she came up to me at the beginning of the season and said coach I'm gonna play middle for you and she's an outside hitter I said no that's not gonna happen and she did it and she stepped up and she stepped up time after time after time after time you know losing those four key seniors they're gonna be tough to replace um, and they've accomplished so much here and they've helped put Bellhaven Volleyball back on the map. And I really, truly believe that they have created something amazing. And I cannot wait for next year to see exactly what we've created and, and what we can accomplish next year. You know, our, our three freshmen that we recruited um, were, just, were just phenomenal. They did things, again, I mean, I think it just, this tends to be the theme of our season, is they did things that I didn't expect them to do. Well, they did things that were very unexpected out of themselves as freshmen. Um, Morgan Hofacker was a starting outside for us, starting six rotation outside for us all year long. She signed very, very late in the recruiting process and I'm very, very thankful that she came here because she made an absolute impact. She was selected as the SSAC all freshman team. Um, She was fourth in the team, uh, or sorry, third in the team in kills um, and was third in the team in digs. You know, for a freshman, that's not easy to do. That's not easy to step into a starting role and be able to own it and be able to live up to expectations set by a head coach or set by, you know, the outside world or, or the conference play. Um, not only that, you know, Taylor Hall and Che Levy, uh, Levy sorry, um, stepped up in very, very crucial, critical moments for us. Um, Taylor Hall had the best game of her career, her young career, um, when Nally Davis, our starting middle, was unable to attend a game due to some family obligations. Taylor Hall stepped up and in against University of Mobile. Mobile, as you know, is one of our biggest rivals, and we were expected to lose that game without Natalie. But Taylor Hall got it into her mind that that was not going to happen, and she had an absolutely phenomenal performance. And she kept us alive in the conference race because of that win. And because of what she did, we were able to hold on to our third place spot in conference. And then Shay Levy, I mean, Against Spring Hill, at Spring Hill, we were down in a tough situation, down two sets to none. Che stepped in, recorded five blocks, and was five of a seven on attacks. That's not easy for anyone to do, to be able to just thrown into the middle of a match and to be able to make that kind of impact and that kind of difference. I think that just demonstrates the ceiling that these three freshmen have. You know, we've only begun to scratch the surface of what these three are going to be able to accomplish. And if they continue to progress like they have progressed so quickly, there's no telling what they're going to look like in four years. Um, I would say watch out for those three. If, if you're in our conference or you're listening to this, uh, Taylor Hall, Morgan Hofacker, and Che Levy, they're going to be on your radars for the next three years. I, I guarantee you that. You know, 
After playing a, a grinding match against Southern Wesleyan um, and, and grinding it out and winning it in four sets, to turn around and play a team two hours later like Loyola, who's always been a big rival and always a tough squad, that asks a lot out of any team, let alone a team of 11 girls. And I think that attributed to a lot of the reason why we did not advance further in the SSAC tournament. You know, I don't want to make excuses. Um, and Loyola played an absolutely phenomenal match, and it was a battle every single set. I just truly believe we ran out of gas, and it got to the point where we just, we just seemed like the energy, we couldn't quite muster up enough. And as sad as it is that the season ended that way, you can't ask anything else out of a team. They literally gave every ounce of energy, every ounce of passion, every ounce of heart that they had. And yeah, we lost, but that's a loss as a coach and as a team and as a program. You don't necessarily mind hanging your hat on. You know, we obviously don't want to let it get the best of us and we don't want to look past it, but if there was ever such a thing as a good loss, that was a good loss. You know, my expectations haven't changed, and they won't change. I expect us to be in the hunt for a conference title again. And if anything, I expect us to re-break our record for most wins. Um, with the talent that we have coming back, the leadership that we have coming back, um, and kind of that chip on the shoulder of that loss at the SSAC tournament, I think that gives us a lot of motivation and a lot of upside going into the 2013 season. You know, we're looking, into, we're looking to bring in a very big, very, very talented, um, and very, very deep recruiting class for 2013. And with some of the recruits we've already, re already signed and some of the recru recruits we've already received verbal commitments from, I honestly expect us to be right back where we were, and if not better. Yeah, it's a, it's a bold statement to say, but I think coming into this season, telling the girls that we we're going to be competing for a conference title this year was bold. And guess what? We, we lived up to that expectation. We played the underdog role, and we'll play it again next year because we like it. We like to be the underdog. We like to battle from, from behind. We like to be overlooked. Um, but again, I think, I, I, I think with the talent coming back, the leadership that we have, and the recruits coming in, I fully expect us to be right back in the mix 